Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm so excited for today's video. As you guys saw by the title, we'll be doing a version of like a purchaser pass kind of video. You've seen them all before. Um, I'm not buying like the whole night. <laughs> so basically we're going to go back. I'm probably going to stick to trend mood uh, and go from there. I feel like trend mood is hit or miss. Sometimes she's on it and sometimes she's not. I know. <laughs> but, you know, be like that. It's fine. We're going to go throw it back, go look at some pictures, um, some, sorry, what is the word? Some products. <laughs> and I'll let you know what I'm thinking about them, that kind of vibe. I haven't done one of these in a while, and honestly, they have so many new products come out every day that even the few days that I'm filming this before I upload it, there's going to be even newer products. But for now, I wanted to talk about these. So, first, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button without further ado. Let's just get started. Alright, so real quick, I just wanted to pop on and talk about these. These are the Fenty Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Skin Tints. I know these have been out for a little bit now, but like, honestly, people are really trying to, um, like, justify these in a sense, which I get it. If you use it, buy it. You know what I'm saying? But like, honestly, I don't know. Like, there are so many other products that could have been released by Fenty. Like, why would you want to release that? I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, to each their own. There are quite a few shades, it looks like. Um, and if you don't, like, I don't know, to me, I don't know how this would be, like, any easier than uh, the Ease Drop foundations, but maybe just, I don't know. I really don't know. But, you know, to each their own. <laughs> and these are, there's 25 shades and it's $35. So, I won't be picking it up, but maybe someone out there will. Like, I would rather just get the Ease Drop foundation than over this if I was going to try one. Um, this is, next thing is the Monsters University collection. If you guys did not see on Monday, um, Monday, yeah, <laughs> I actually did a video with some of these products. I didn't get every single one because it was like a lot of products, which is exciting, but I got quite a few. So, um, Trend Mood did like a whole freaking video for it, but, um, honestly, like, I'm, 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 I'm impressed. So I would go check out that video if you want to see more. Un, what is the word? Um. Not self-promo, what is that called? I don't know. Anyway, next we have one of the freaking bajillion concealers that came out. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tex Hydrating Concealer. I honestly was tempted to buy this. I'm glad I did it because there are so many other concealers um, that came out after this. But I was tempted to buy this because I do like... I did. <laughs> I do want to try more from House Labs. I like the brand a lot. And there are so many products, though, that I have not bought that I just keep eyeing. Even the setting powder, the bronzers, the blushes. I, every time, like, I'm like, I'll buy it now. And then I don't buy it uh, because they look so good. I just never pull the trigger. And so this looked like something I would like. But then I realized, too, I don't really love the um, foundation. So I was like, maybe I won't like the concealer. I don't know. <laughs> there are 31 shades. Um, this doesn't say the price of them, but I'm sure it's probably like twenty some dollars, thirty some dollars. I don't know. Um, but I don't know. A revolutionary hydrating clean concealer that does more than cover, uh, with twenty plus skincare benefits. I feel like that's never even like a, a addition anymore. It's like uh, you just assume most brands are gonna have skincare benefits because so many brands do it now. <laughs> but I'm interested. I definitely won't be buying it now. But maybe, like, during a sale, depending on which, like, concealer I get. Like, if I get a concealer now and then the rest I wait. I don't know. It just depends. Okay, next this also I... Ooh. Next this also I purchased. It's still not here. I'm so sad about it. <laughs> this is the Lunar Beauty Lunarversal Setting Powder. It, there's four different shades, $28. I picked up the shade Translucent Light because I didn't want pink and then medium looked too dark for my skin tone, so I got light. So I'll let you guys know. Obviously, I'll do a video using it when it gets here. Um, but I was really excited. I love Lunar Beauty, honestly. I noticed, I did not know, I was so surprised. At my mall, um, the Lehigh Valley Mall, if you guys don't know, <clears throat> um, they had a Sephora in JCPenney. Well, they took that out and now they have like a little... It looks like a bunch of random brands just are in there. There's like Jason Wu Beauty, like Revlon's in there, like random brands. A little bit of Elf, but not too much. But Lunar Beauty's in there. I saw like a bunch of their palettes. I was like, what the heck? So I gotta come back, go back when I'm like ready to spend a bunch of money because I'm gonna buy, I think I want like the Sculpt palette maybe and then like an eyeshadow palette. I don't know. Then they have the lip glosses there too, which I've been avoiding purchasing because I don't want to buy it online and pay shipping. But then like I could go in store and get it. I'm so super freaking surprised. I was like, what? But it's in like this section... I don't know what it's called. 
it's there's a section for it that like has a bunch of other random brands that I've never heard of so I was very excited about that but I really don't think the setting powder will go there because it doesn't look like every release goes there but like it looks like some products are there and I was so surprised anyway love Lunar Beauty so when I saw this come out with setting powder I was like freak yes heck to the yes um, Too Faced did a little sneak peek. I don't know if this is going to be, like, their, this might be their fall palette or whatever. Um, it's available August 27th, it says. There's a maple syrup injection and a maple syrup eyeshadow. You guys know, I'm a tin pan lover. I'm a tin pan lover. Let me watch it again so you guys can see. Um, I'm a tin, I'm, I like the tin pans. I don't want it in the cardboard packaging. I just don't. And honestly... <laughs> Too Faced, what? You guys know I'm a diehard Too Faced girl. I love their eyeshadow palettes. I love their holiday collections, but that just looks so boring. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> next we have, um, this is a stitch collection by Spectrum Beauty. Spectrum Beauty. So they came out with some sponges and some brushes. Super cute. I just typically don't, like, I'm not, I don't, I've never bought from this brand. The six-piece brush set is $55. No freaking way. Um, the makeup bag is $32 for a half makeup bag. The bunch sponges are $16, and the brush is $21. Absolutely freaking not. Next. Now, this actually, actually tickles my fancy. <laughs> this is the MAC. Um, oh, it's only in Europe. That's literally, I did this the last time, too. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's only in Europe. Never mind. <laughs> so, never mind. We're just going to skip that. There's a little sneak peek of a holiday set that might be coming out, obviously, this holiday for $50. Um, I have most of the products that are in here, so I honestly am not going to, like, run out to get it. But, like, it's a super cute set. Um, and so I feel like... I feel like, you know, if you're someone who, like, doesn't have most of these products and is interested in, like, majority of them, then these are always, like, so good. So, 10 out of 10. I'm trying to get on someone. Can I get on Kaleidos' PR list, please? Thank you. <laughs> it's always the smaller content creators that are, like, on their list, and I'm like, can I join? I would like to join. Thank you. Again, this is old, oldish news. This is Too Faced came out with X Pop Tart. Too Faced. <laughs> I'm sorry, these are so silly. So there's a brown sugar and a frosted strawberry. I love, you know, I love a good cute collection. I just think that, like, this seems like a cop out collection. Like, it's not a real, like, why would I want X Pop Tart? You think I love Pop Tart that much? You're like, no way. <laughs> no freaking way. All right, and here's the second concealer of the video. This is the By Mario Surreal. Oh my gosh, it's the By Mario Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer, twenty two shades, twenty nine dollars. Now that's the thing. I'm like, if it was twenty five dollars, I probably would have bought it already. But I'm like, thirty dollars makeup by Mario. Like I know you're bougie, but like, come on. I also am having a really hard time picking my shade because online like the descriptions of it don't match the way the colors look like on the arm and so like in my head I'm like maybe like 360 340 I don't know I don't know I don't know 280 I don't know but I don't I don't know um but I did want to try it it says a multi-use concealer that visibly lifts blurs and brightens your under eye and complexion caffeine visibly depuffs tightens and smooth skins for an awakening look Ooh, juicy medium coverage you guys know I like a medium coverage Buildable formula, crease-proof and long wear with a self-setting formula that locks in with a natural skin-like finish. Maybe I have to try it and do a video on it because I ne I always set my concealer. Always. But this is claiming to self-set, which means I shouldn't have to set it, correct? Okay, I think I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Okay, I'll get it eventually. I know I'm going to get it at some point. I just don't know if I'm going to get it now or what. This is also so cute. I've never, I don't even know what this brand is. Kitsch. Kitsch. But they're like Hogwarts palettes. I mean Hogwarts <laughs> pillowcases. They're so freaking cute, honestly. And then like some bath um, body wash. Sorry. And then like some super cute like pillowcases. Uh, so stunning. But I think they're, yeah, $22 for satin pillowcases. Like, I got money like that, but I also, for Christmas, I'm going to ask for, like, a whole new bed set. So, like, maybe I'll be like, yo, look at these. I don't know. 
they're cute but like because i love harry potter but not necessarily because they're practical nars is coming out with more lip products nars <laughs> $30 for um, a lip pencil or lip crayon. No, thank you. Next. Oh my gosh, this is so ugly. Okay, so this is the, um, oh, this is also just in Europe, but this is the Naked, Urban Decay Naked Metal Mania palette. I think this happened last time though. Didn't it happen with one of the other palettes where it released like in Europe first and then it came here? I don't know if it's coming here, but that is not cute. What am I supposed to do with that? Okay, it's really not that bad. It's really just neutrals with like a yellow and a purple, but like I think the yellow and purple is what's doing it for me. What's not doing it for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't know about that, but okay, whatever. It's fine. <sighs> okay, I'm not trying to go through every single product. Okay, here, this one I didn't want to talk about too. This is the Natasha Denona. It's the I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I think I'm going to save this for a VIP sale, but I think I'm going to get it because it looks so stunning. It really looks like something I would use all the time. Um, it's just really pretty. It's $69 though, so I'm like, what the freak? So I'm like, should I wait for Alter Ego to dupe it? <laughs> Honestly, I should. Um, I think these shades just look so stunning and they look like my cup of tea for sure because they're very, like, they honestly look like the vibe I'm kind of wearing. Just very neutral. Um, you can obviously use some depth if you want to, um, like that girl did, but very neutral, like transition colors, very natural, and then a pop of shimmer. Like, I think that looks so stunning, and I feel like I would get the most use out of this one. Um, but also their cool tones, but I feel like that would be perfect to have a cool tone, and then the Yucca palette, Yucca palette, whatever you want to say it, is a little bit more like warm tone, more like army khaki kind of vibes. Um, so like those would be great to have together for the fall, you know what I mean? Um, it says new nude shades in matte metallic sparkling fold and a new wet effect formula <laughs> in a sleek 3D plexiglass case inspired by minimalistic architecture. Wow. It is available now if you guys want it. Um, I think I'm going to save it. I just don't know. I'm scared. I don't want it to go sold out. Um, this looks delicious. I just have to smell it. This is the, um, Sol de Janeiro After Hours Fragrance. It's $24. It says Black Current Midnight Jasmine Amber Woods. Amber Woods, I feel like, usually I like. So, I don't know. I have to smell this, though, because it looks delicious. It looks so yummy. Like, it looks so delicious. But I might just have to blind smell it. Like, you know, just to order it. <laughs> Okay, Patrick talking about the eyeshadow palette. This is the Major Dimensions number three palette. Now, I had the number Major Dimensions, the original one, and I didn't use it that much. I didn't use it mostly because I didn't use the creams and I didn't use the shimmers. So that's like freaking 90% of the palette. The mattes were stunning. I just, but I just, it was like one, two, three, four mattes that I was using. Now, this is a full matte palette. Will I buy it? No, $70, but, like, it's something that I'm, like, interested in. Like, I could see myself using it if I didn't have so many other eyeshadow palettes, you know what I mean? And if it wasn't $70, obviously. Um, but, like, if you're intrigued, his matte formula is super, super nice. I prefer it to the shimmers that were in the original one, and, um, I feel like I would use this palette more, but, like, because I have that one, even though I don't use it, it's in, like, a sentimental drawer because my mom got it for me, but, like, even though I don't use it, I could... It, it, if I didn't have that one, I would consider buying this one. You know what I'm saying? Um, they look so nice. It's cool, warm tones, matte, and cream formulas all in one palette. I think the only two cream formulas are both the corner formulas. I just don't know why he does that because I don't think that that's beneficial in any way, shape, or form. But, like, again, I'm not really, like, I, I do freelance a bit here and there, but not really anymore. And so it's like, I guess maybe that's what he uses it for, but I really hate those cream shadows. I hate them. I despise them. <laughs> Wow, when is the Ulta? Oh my gosh, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty starts August 27th. I did not know. Uh, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to do a video. Maybe. Maybe. Baby. I... <laughs> this is so bad. But honestly, okay, they look delicious. So let me bite my tongue. This is the Jacqueline Cosmetics Vanity Light Glaze Luminizer. A transforming high shine glazed balm that brings your true radiance to light in five blinding shades. Available August 24th and, and website on their website and in Ulta and then select stores on the 27th. Okay, 
That's so interesting. I she I know she was like talking about you know closing her to like extended brands, the cozy and then the jewelry, um, Jacqueline Roxanne, which is like totally fine. But she also mentioned like she doesn't know what's gonna come of Jacqueline Cosmetics. And so for me, like obviously she had this plan already, so it's fine. But like also, then why don't you like stop releasing stuff and regroup? I don't know. But this looks pretty. It just isn't. I don't think I'll practically use it. And the fact that they called it a balm is interesting because it might be balmy consistency. So I don't know. Right now, I'm not sold. It's, again, hard to, like, um, justify buying it if I don't know how long it's going to be here. And I know that sounds, like, insane, but I have so many Jaclyn Cosmetics products already that it's, like, I should probably use those, use them up if Jaclyn Cosmetics is going to be no more. You never know, right? So, like, I'm not saying that it will be or whatever. I don't want it to be because I love a lot of Jaclyn's products. But, like, just in case, I don't want to keep buying them and then, like, you know, not be able to recommend them. So, I don't know. That's a... Uh, 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 what is the word? Hit or miss. Okay, I wonder why. Trend mode is... Trend mode is interesting. Again, sometimes she has all the products that I want to talk about, sometimes not. So, um, I'm going to go over to Sephora real quick. Oh, it's in my, um... Well, let's just see if it's here. Okay. So Tower 28 actually came out with a all, swipe all over hydrating serum concealer. And I'm like, I love Tower 28. I haven't don't have that many products anymore because I've used them, used them all up, or like, you know what I mean? They go one bad. But like I've used to love a lot of Tower 28 products. And so I'm like, I feel like I would love this. It's only $22. So I'm like compared to the $29 Makeup by Mario concealer. But now I'm leaning toward the Makeup by Mario because it said it's self-setting. Um, this one I feel like I would just like, but I have so many, like, high end concealers. Like, this one I could see my, I could wait for. That one I feel like I should try. Okay, anyway. But it is, um, what did it say? Medium coverage, natural finish, without silk goods, clean at Sephora, which is nice. A hydrating, non com com comedogenic concealer that glides on like a serum and has the medium buildable coverage power that instant to instantly cover dark circles, redness, and blemishes. Um, it's a natural finish. It just seems like something I would like, but I did realize too that I had the um, Tower 28 Sunny Days sunscreen foundation. I did not like that. And so I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. That's the thing. Like the makeup by Mario, I actually liked the foundation. So I don't know. I don't freaking know. Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with a new concealer. I feel like in the midst, in the new concealer realm, I like the, my top, like the three that I like know off the top of my head, like Huda Beauty, Benefit, and then this ABH one. I feel like ABH definitely is the bottom of that food chain. <laughs> so honestly, like I would not pick it up, but like I did try the Benefit one and I love it. And I think there's a way I could get a sample of the Huda Beauty one finally and try that one um, for you guys. But everything else just seems like, you know... Nothing too exciting to talk about. Makeup Forever came out with a new concealer. I think that's also like old news, but like on Sephora it says new, so it's fine. Also $29. But I have no like like there's no no connection to Makeup Revolution Makeup Forever for me. So like maybe like so I I'm okay not getting that one. Yeah, there's not much. Ulta 2 has been slacking. I hate when, not I, I do hate when they do this, but I, I don't mind that other brands come to Ulta. Like, I don't care that much. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Um, either way, I'll buy the product if I want to buy the product, basically. And, um, uh, but the thing is that, like, Ulta, if you, if the minute the brand drops on their website, that's all you see in the new section for so long. So right now, there's nothing fun that's new. Oh, wait, there is. <laughs> okay, I won't be buying this because this is $46, but maybe eventually. They did bring the MAC Studio Radiance um, Foundation to Ulta. It's there. You could buy it. Why am I Why am I showing you? I could literally, i bobbing it in the drink. It's $46, though. What the freak, MAC? That's expensive. $50. But, like, um, they do have it. It's the Radiance Serum Power Foundation. Powdered Powered Foundation is a build, buildable, weightless, 24-hour hydration Hydrating foundation that smooths texture, evens tones, and blurs the look of pores. That sounds delightful. Wow, Mac. Bring it not 
Hourglass. They came out with a skin tint for $50. A Veil Hydrating Skin Tint for $50. Do you understand how much $50 is? That's a lot of dollars. For a skin tint, are you on drugs? There are so many drugstore options that are way better. Okay, honestly, Ulta's doing big things right now. Um, <laughs> Elf came out with, uh, they re-came out with, they re-released their Jelly Pop Dew Primer. If you're one of those people who are diehard Jelly Pop Primer, girls, get yours while you can. They are $10. People love them. I think I, I don't remember if I tried this one. I know I tried the mint one. I didn't like it. I know I tried the, um, milk, not milk, what is the jelly, no, the grip one, whatever it was. I did not like that one, so whatever. But, like, if you like those, then there's your girl. You could get it. She's here. If you, for some reason, have not seen that, I want it to be the one to tell you, even though I will not buy it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm like, here it is. Um, yeah, then it just, after you get through, like, the few sporadic, like, new releases, it's just all Pat McGrath, which is great. I mean, if you're someone who wants to get Pat McGrath from Ulta, um, or if you didn't want to get it from, uh, Sephora, I don't know. I don't know what the reason would be, but or if you have points that you want to use, then obviously um, now you can. How exciting. Much else to talk about. I feel like, um, again, it just, everything comes out of nowhere. Like some, it's so random. Brands will release stuff here and there and you never just know. Um, but for now, that's all the ones that I've seen <laughs> and thought about. Again, I'm really, the most thing I'm torn about, like the most thing that's on the top of my head is the Natasha Nona palette and then the three, con the two, well, two of the concealers. The House Lab one, I could, like, justify not getting, but it's, like, the other two concealers that I'm, like, mm, I don't know. Those are the things that are, like, on the top of my head the most, which is not bad because, you know, I, every other year I would have been freaking elbow deep in debt because, <laughs> uh, freaking, or Clarina. Elbow deep in Clarina because I would have bought all the products already. So it really just depends on my day. But for now, those are the ones that I'm, like, really, like, Mm -hmm. Let me know though which one you think, which one do you rather see? I feel like you guys would rather see the Makeup by Mario. I also feel like there's a group of you who'd rather see the Tower 28. So let me know. Maybe I'll do a poll so that I know by before this go video goes up. I don't know. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what uh, products you're eyeing down below, what you're picking up. Are you guys excited for the holiday season? I'm a little nervous because I just don't know what's going to come. <laughs> I really don't know what's going to come. All right. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.